But first, I just want to ask you, what was the one word that would best describe how you felt when it was announced that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the next president and vice president of the United States? I was thrilled. First of all, obviously, Joe uh, is somebody who stood by me on every major decision I had for eight years. He's become a brother, a, a genuinely good friend. Kamala is one of my earliest supporters when I first launched my presidency. So I, I, I'm personally invested in them. Uh, and they have the character and experience, I think, uh, to do an outstanding job uh, in uh, a very difficult time, a, a very challenging time in this country. But uh, beyond the, the personal investment I have in them, uh, I think this gives us a chance to get back to uh, the kind of competent, uh, caring government that we so badly need and uh, that the world expects out of uh, the United States of America. Do you worry now that the Supreme Court may strike down the Affordable Care Act? Uh, I don't think there's a basis for striking it down. It has been more resilient and now is more popular than I think people understood at the time that we passed it. Uh, America is unique among wealthy, advanced nations in not providing health care to all of its citizens. And that is not only uh, immoral, but it is also wildly inefficient because we have people who pile into emergency rooms for the most expensive care because they don't have basic preventive care. We are now seeing in the middle of a pandemic the consequences of not having a good public health infrastructure because no matter how good your health insurance is, if everybody around you uh, is getting sick, then you're at risk as well. You're better off making sure that we're all investing in keeping each other healthy. Well, we learned in this book that you know what it's like to be up against, in your own words, Republicans who didn't want compromise but wanted war. You know what that's like trying to get things done. So how much do you think that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris can actually accomplish in healing the soul of the country with Mitch McConnell and a Republican Senate if it well, turns I, out to I, be that way? Look, o o Oprah, I, I would distinguish between the very real policy differences that exist between Democrats and Republicans uh, and some legitimate tough issues, you know, whether it's abortion or it's taxes. Uh, you know, people have different views and democracy is always going to be contentious. I distinguish between that and the uh, demonization of opponents, the uh, flouting of institutional norms and rules that govern how our democracy is supposed to function, uh, the, the kinds of things that uh, I saw over the last four years that endanger uh, democracy operating the way it should. Yeah. And I think that what Joe and Kamala can do is to uh, level set to reestablish that we don't use the Justice Department, for example, to go after political enemies, that we uh, don't mingle uh, personal business interests with the business of government, uh, that there is an expectation uh, that the president doesn't routinely lie <laughs> or uh, reshape the truth to uh, his own convenience, that you know, he doesn't call journalists enemies uh, of the state. Uh, you know, those kinds of things, uh, which in some ways we became numb to over the last several years, I think that's the stuff that can be fixed and Joe and Kamala will set a different tone. But I think that we're going to have to do more than that it's going to take work not just at the presidential level but really in civil society to overcome some of these deep divisions that keep on producing gridlock.